my right foot did start to really get a bit angry. I've got a new little end of sponsorship. I haven't done our sponsorship as such. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it feels like a eternity since I did one of these little driving to the gym vlogs. But I'm back. We're back. We're heading to the gym. It's been a month since I had my gender reassignment surgery and I'm heading to the gym. Now, before you freak out, I'm just doing very light cardio today. Yeah, I've barely been out, I'll be honest with you, since getting back from Thailand. I think this is my third, only like my third or fourth time even leaving the house in like, like a month. So I'm taking it very, very easy, but I just need to get that. Just need to fire up the quattro. You know what I'm saying? I need to get to the gym. I'm, I feel slow and even though I'm my lowest weight that I've ever been I've lost all the weight that I, I, I had from Florida I had a nice little loss in Thailand because I basically didn't eat any food but I've maintained and indeed I've managed to be, maintain losing two or three pounds a week since getting back but I'm weak I'm I'm very weak I've lost strength I've lost muscle mass I feel low in energy I think I will heal better if I can just get the ticker ticking and the lungs are lung in and all of that but i'm not doing any weights today i don't think i'm doing any weights today i might do a little upper body just like like a 2k or something you know but this is all about cardio really just get the blood flowing so by the time you see this my first two post tie videos will be out talking about my gender reassignment surgery and how that went i have to say they're they're probably a little more uplifting and positive than they should be i don't show any of the downsides in those videos I've noticed. I don't know, I don't know why. But there are they're a little they're a little overly positive. Don't be alarmed. But I'm doing a third video on that series. Now that I'm back, now that I've been home a month, covering some of the, the less the less pleasant things like the pain in my leg and the weakness and other things I want to cover. Because I feel I set an unrealistic expectation for people who are going through this surgery. And just the elevator pitch, this was by far the hardest surgery I've ever had to do. I went through a surgery a month last year, as you may recall. Walk in the park compared to GRS. Okay, so I just need to get that across. And I feel that the videos that have gone out so far are a little too light. They don't cover, you know, how tough some of this has been. So I'm going to put that out next. I'm actually recording videos today for the first time, really, since getting back. And also, thank you so much for all your comments, and you've been amazing. For such a small channel, I can't believe how much support I've managed to get. It's overwhelmed. I thought I was going to be filming much more from, from the hospital and from the hotel and I was, I was going to be in Bangkok loving life after surgery. No, no that did not happen. In fact, I've, I've almost worked in bed for the last two weeks. I'm back in work. I was back in work right away, but ha, I am so drained. Anyhow, I digress. Also, new gym swag. That's happening. Stronger! Because, you know, the stronger, right? Size-wise, well, I needed new gym clothes, frankly, because most of my clothes are now too big for me. Oh, the joys of weight loss. So all those lovely Fabletics hauls I did last year, yeah, I need to replace a lot of them because they're just too big for me now. Yay! <laughs> I've got a new little end of sponsorship. I haven't done our sponsorship as such, but they, I had a tweet to say, would you like to try out some of their gym wear? So I'm trying out their gym wear to see if I like it. And I like it, I must say, fits really well. Uh, and that's pretty much it for, for this for this bit. Um, I'm, go I'm just about to get to the gym and I shall pick up where I left off. Hi! So that was a short one, I'm not gonna lie, didn't do much. Just got some treadmill on, a little bit of stretching, and that was enough. And I am tired, I felt it. Um, but it was good to be back. I could feel the lungs starting to work and blood and everything. But then I just hit a wall of tired. I thought, oh, this is, this is over. But that's okay, I'll just get better from here now. I need some glasses, because I'm blind. Um, so here's the thing, a lot of people keep telling me, oh, you shouldn't be going to the gym, and you shouldn't be doing this, and you should be doing that. And it's like, well, everything is healed. Nothing's going to fall out now, which is fine. It's just the recovery process. And you, only you yourself know how you feel about that. Now, yes, I'm not going to be doing any squats or any heavy lifting for quite some time. Uh, I think most people agree it's a good idea. The sooner you can get your strength back and you're get yourself moving and up and about the better the, your body will recover faster it is just hard though because what you want to do is lie around and go oh netflix and pizza i got stuff to do i've got goals so you know i ain't got time for that so there's another video i'll be talking about um, some sciatic nerve damage in my right leg because of the the surgery i was in the stirrups for a long time my right foot did start to really get a bit angry on the, at the end of the treadmill session i'll be honest one of the treatments for that is to move 
is to just keep flexing those muscles and keep that the blood pumping around that area. So what's going on on the channel? What is coming up? Well, um, you have probably seen by now a couple of videos about the surgery. I've got another one of those to cut up, a list of things I wish I'd known and a couple of things which didn't quite go to plan. So I've got some of the, some of the darker sides of the surgery coming up. I've got, uh, I've got some cracking hate coming up. My last hate video actually attracted more hate comments. Woo, these guys are lunatics, it's so funny. I've got people actually complaining at me that I won't argue with them on my channel. I'm like, well, it's my channel. I do what I want. How, how are you so arrogant that you think you have a right to that? You absolute bell end. So that's quite good fun. Um, I've got Willow and I are doing some makeup collaborations. We've got a huge makeup haul on its way as we speak. I had an email actually while I was in the gym saying, your order has been dispatched. So makeup is coming. My other channel, Zolando Obsession, is doing really well with Kimberly. All about Orlando and Disney World holidays and Universal Studios. My um, help channel, Creative Answers, is kind of... It hasn't stalled, it's just I'm changing tack slightly to bake in more about the software I'm working on. So that's kind of on a, on a little bit of a go slow at the moment and building up content about with around Tube Spanner for that. That's coming soon and that's where I'm at. As always, of course, if you like this sort of content, if you want to see more of my journey, then uh, and hit that subscribe button and, 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 and mash that alarm bell and you'll be kept informed of all the videos I put out. We're going to wrap this up, so thank you so much, so much for watching. As I said earlier, you're incredible. The feedback I get is just overwhelming. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Popping up over there is the last show I put out and below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. I shall see you in the very next show. Bye. Mwah.